Hi, welcome to this video presented by the Center for Academic Student Achievement, also known as CASA, at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. CASA is located in the Glasscock Student Success Center, in between the Mary and Jeff Bell Library and the Robert Ferguson Engineering Building. My name is Tara Ivey. I'm an academic success coach at CASA, and together with our director, Hector Duarte, and a team of academic success mentors, we want to welcome you to the Island University. In this video, I'm going to talk about conditional admission. By now, you have received, signed, and returned your undergraduate conditional admissions agreement. This is an agreement between you and Texas A&M University Corpus Christi that you have agreed to the conditions listed at the top of the page. In this video, I'm going to go through some more information about how CASA is going to help you meet those conditions. To go into more about conditional admission, I'm going to take you over to the admissions website to help explain what conditional admission is. To get there, we're going to go from the main tamucc.edu website. We can go to the little search bar, which comes in really handy for finding anything that you want to find on uh, TAMUCC's webpage. We'll type in conditional admission. When we hit that and we enter, it brings up our search results. We're going to go to admissions right here. And this is actually what I have pulled up, admissions.tamucc.edu. That's where you can get directly to the admissions page. So if I were to type in admissions.tamucc.edu, it will take me directly to the admissions main page. And um, there is a question and answer bot over here, a chat bot that you can answer question or ask questions and get your uh, questions answered here. But I'm taking you to freshman students because that's what you are. You are a freshman coming in. And for incoming freshmen, you've probably been through all the application process and now you have been admitted. So let's look at the admission decisions. This can help you make sense of your admission decision. Regular freshman admission is uh, anyone admitted to the university with no extra holds, no extra conditions, and have met all of the TSI requirements. Conditional admission. So conditional admission, you will be sub subject to specific enrollment conditions. These conditions may include prescribed development of coursework, participating in tutoring, and other academic support that CASA offers. Um, this decision from uh, this committee is final, so if you want to be reevaluated, you will have to uh, resubmit new academic credentials to be evaluated by the committee. And then, of course, the last uh, admission is denial of admission. So you did not fall under that. You are conditionally admitted. So let's go through some of those conditions. We're going to talk about some of the services that CASA has to offer. So we'll go to casa.tamucc.edu. And here is CASA's main page. And part of your conditional admission is filling out an academic success plan. We talk about that in another video. There is a link. I will send it to you or you can look for it below in the um, description. But for now, I want to talk about attending tutoring, supplemental instruction, and the writing center. That is the academic support that CASA offers along with peer mentoring. So tutoring, if you're enrolled in core classes this semester, which you will be, we offer tutoring in a variety of subjects. So if you look here, you can see all of the tutoring that we have to offer, and these are the schedules that are available right now for spring 2020. So in the fall, we will have new schedules up and you can um, decide what tutoring you need to take 
at what time depending on your personal schedule. So let's go back to that page, the main page of CASA, and let's look at supplemental instruction. Supplemental instruction is a lot like tutoring except that an SI, which is what we call an SI, an SI leader is actually embedded in your course. They go to the class, they take notes, they work directly with that specific professor to ensure that uh, they can hold study sessions that will help you ahead of uh, exams or working through coursework, doing homework, um, any of that. The SI leader can help during regularly scheduled sessions each week. And so throughout the semester, your SI leader will be holding uh, weekly sessions. Sometimes it's three times a week, sometimes it's twice a week, um, but we do have the schedules available on our website for you to look up and see what SI sessions are available. I'm just going to go to it really quick. See, you can see all of the SI sessions, let's say for Bio 1 for this particular professor. Uh, Nadia is the SI leader, and this particular class has three SI sessions that meet a week. So this will be a similar setup that, that we will have in the fall. Now let's look at the Writing Center. The Writing Center offers you all of the writing support you will need for academic college level writing. When we go to the Writing Center, you do have to set up an account with them right over here. This is the first thing you're going to do. You're going to click here, first visit, and this is going to be the form that you fill out for a new account. Of course, they're going to want to know your major. They're going to want to know how far along you are in your degree. You're going to set up a password, and then um, whatever you want to be sent. Once you set that up, you can then sign into the Writing Center right here. Writing Center Online, you can just sign right in. And then once you sign in, you can set up an a, a, uh, appointment, because it's appointment-based, with our writing consultants. We have writing consultants that are um, very well-trained in various areas. I want to go take you over to our team. They're all um, highly qualified. Many have advanced degrees or they're working towards advanced degrees, um, different areas, different disciplines. We have many who are studying education, studying reading, um, and we have some that have degrees in the sciences. So they can help you with some of that scientific writing, um, research writing, the report writing, technical writing. Also, we have folks who have degrees in uh, creative writing, fine arts. They can help you with any of that creative writing that you have for your English courses, literature classes. They can help with um, research essays. They can even help you write a resume. If you're writing a scholarship essay, they can help with all of that. So I want to encourage you to use the Writing Center for all of your academic writing. Uh, run your uh, papers through your essays through the Writing Center. Get a second set of eyes on it. You'll do much better on your academic writing papers. Going back to our main page, down to the peer mentoring. This is peer mentoring, peer-to-peer -peer college guidance and support. These are actual students. Our peer mentors are students who are currently enrolled and so they know everything going on in the uh, world of students from the student's perspective. So they get all of the campus announcements, the club announcements, sororities, fraternities, um, all of the various uh, social clubs that we have on campus and academic clubs that we have on campus. So I want to encourage you to look into all of that, talk to your peer mentor. If you have any questions about uh, your first year, if you need to know anything, how to contact your professor, who do you contact if you get sick and you're missing classes, who do you contact if you need accommodations? Your peer mentor can help you um, answer those questions and find answers to those questions. We also have the First Islander Scholars Academy. That's for first-generation college students. 
Um, if you're a first-generation college student, you're the first in your family to go to university, um, definitely look into this program. They're very helpful in finding resources for first-generation college students. If you need help paying for anything, if you need access to anything, they can help you find that. This is going to conclude this video presented by the Center for Academic Student Achievement, also known as CASA. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, casa at tamocc.edu. Or you can email any one of us directly. Our email addresses are displayed there on the screen. Also, be looking for emails from us in your inbox. We'll be emailing you throughout the summer and going into fall. In the meantime, take care this summer. And we look forward to seeing you this fall semester. Go Islanders!